All right, this is a more of a rate and distance and time problem. Okay, so I see all the, how we have miles and we have a rate. And we have a time walking, so I'm just going to write in the corner here, distance equals rate times time, just so I have that. Now, the next thing I see is what they actually give me. They give me rates, and they also give me a total time. Okay, so what I'm thinking is since it's two hours total walking in all, I want some equation that equals my total time. Now, that means I want to come up with an equation or an expression for the time there and the time back. So the time to a friend's house and the time from a friend's house. So what's my expression for time to a friend's house? Yes, John. Uh, m over 4 plus m over 3. Okay, so m over 4 because... And this is what I did. I, I looked at this distance equals rate times time right here, and I said, okay, if I want to solve that for time, I would divide both by R. So time equals distance over rate. So what I'm going to do is for the time there, I'm using the distance there, which is M, divided by the rate there, which is 4. Now, coming back from the friend's house, I'm going to add to it the distance back, which is still M, and the rate, which is 3. And there's my equation I can use. Okay, you're going to have an equation on the test that definitely has fractions in here. So know how to clear the fractions out. How would I, what would I multiply everything by to get rid of these fractions, Dylan? 12. 12. So multiply both sides by 12. The right side equals 24. When I distribute, I'm going to get 12m over 4 plus 12m over 3. That's going to simplify to 3m plus 4m equals 24. 7m equals 24. So divide by 7. m equals 3 and 3 sevenths. I would not keep this one as an improper fraction just because since we're talking about miles, I wouldn't tell somebody, oh, it's 24 sevenths of a mile. You would say it's three and three sevenths or give the decimal there. <laughs>